If you've been in this space for a while, you know that it's super important to know how to read a block explorer. Now, whether you're a crypto tax professional like myself, an on-chain degen, or even just a newbie entering the space, learning how to read a block explorer is going to help you tremendously in your crypto journey, and it's going to give you a leg up on the competition, whoever that may be. So today I want to walk you through how to read a block explorer. We're going to be looking at the main block explorer that you'll see, which is Ethereum's block explorer, Etherscan. So let's jump in. On my screen here, we have the Etherscan block explorer. I've popped in a wallet address here where you can type in that wallet address up in the corner here. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to that specific wallets page. And then there's a lot going on on this page. So we're going to break it all down here. So right here, we've got our overview, and that's going to show the balance of ETH on that wallet. Um, and then right under it, it's going to give you the value in ETH in US dollars. Um, and then under that, you're going to have the token holdings. So you can have different tokens within an Ethereum wallet, any ERC20 tokens that you might be holding. They're going to be shown in that section right there. So as you can see in this wallet, Got some Matic or some Merit Circle and then some Pepe and then a bunch of scam airdrops that look to have been dropped into this wallet. Next, we've got just a more info section. It just not much going on there. It just says the last sent transaction and then the first transaction sent. And then on the right here, you've got the multi chain addresses. So if you've got a MetaMask wallet, you can use that MetaMask wallet across different chains. So if you have done that, you're going to see access to those other chains right here. For instance, I know on this wallet, there's been Arbitrum transactions. So we can go to Arbiscan, which is just Etherscan, except for the Arbitrum transactions. And then we can look at all those transactions there as well. Now, moving back to this main Etherscan page, we come down here to the transactions. So the transactions are just showing Ethereum transactions, right? So it's going to show if you sent out ETH or if ETH came into your wallet, um, that's going to be shown right here. And breaking this down a little bit further, you've got the transaction hash here. The method is going to give you a little bit of a clue on what's going on in that transaction. Is it just a transfer? Is it executing some type of approval, signing a transaction? Um, different stuff there that you'll see that kind of gives you a clue to what's going on in that transaction. Then it's going to show you the block that it was mined in the Ethereum blockchain. And then it's going to show you the date and time that this happened on the blockchain, what wallet this transaction came from, and where it went to. And then it's going to give you the value of ETH right here and the transaction fee as well. So that gives you a high level overview of the main page on Etherscan, the transactions page. Now, if you wanna peel that back a little further and you're really trying to dive into a specific transaction to figure out what was going on there, you're gonna go ahead and click on the transaction hash. And that's gonna give you all of the details that happened with this transaction. So you've got the transaction hash. You can see that it was a success. The block again, the time again, and it's going to tell you the action that was taken. So by looking at this, I can tell that this Opepin NFT was transferred from one wallet to another. I can see it was transferred from this wallet and sent to this wallet. Um, other things, you'll see the value of ETH that was transact transacted on this transaction and then the transaction fee and then the gas price that was paid. So if you're really trying to look into a specific transaction, that will help you do that. Just viewing the transaction hash, you'll see everything that you need to know about that specific transaction. Now, back to Etherscan, the next tab we have over is the internal transactions. So the internal transactions are still Ethereum transactions, but they got executed via a smart contract. Um, so they're not going to show up on that main transaction page. Without getting into the weeds too, too much, just know these got executed via a smart contract. For instance, here Coinbase sent funds to this wallet. But when Coinbase sends funds, they send out multiple funds to multiple different wallets at the same time. So a smart contract got executed to send those funds to all those different wallets. So that's going to show up 
on this page versus the main transactions page. The next tab over, we have ERC20 token transactions. So if you interacted on this ETH wallet with any coin other than Ethereum, that's gonna show up on this page here. So as you can see here, it looks like right here, Pepe was purchased, some Pepe was moved around. Um, so again, any ERC20 token transactions are gonna show up on this page. Next tab over, we've got the NFT transfers. This is just gonna show you any NFT transactions that happened right here on this page. So for instance, we could look at this transaction hash and it looks like this Opepin was purchased for 1.075 ETH you know, on this date. Again, we can get all of the data, all of the information about this transaction that we need. So NFTs are gonna show up there. And then the next tab over is the analytics tab. There's a bunch of different things you can do on this analytics tab. I, I highly doubt most of you will use this, but me as a tax professional, sometimes I do utilize this analytics tab to see balances at certain times and different things like that. And then you can have a comment section. Some people can comment on your specific wallet if they're trying to track you down or purchase something from you or something like that. Um, they can do that in the comments. So that's really everything you need to know on Etherscan. Um, the last thing I wanna show you again is the fact that if you used this same wallet address for different chains, you're gonna be able to access those chains right here. So again, I know this wallet used Arbitrum, so you'll see all the Arbitrum transactions here and it's got a similar layout, similar structure to the main Etherscan page. Now, if you need help with understanding this or you have any other questions about your crypto taxes or how to reconcile your account, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself or Laura. I will actually put our consultation link in the description. I'll put a link to our website and I'll also put a link to our course that we just dropped a few months ago. Covers our entire process front to back um, so you can check that out as well.